A pro-police rally called the Sea of Blue taking place today in our nation's capital. The event, of course, coming on the heels of recent anti-police demonstrations with protesters taking to the streets over the incidents in Ferguson and New York. Peter Ducey, live in Washington now with more. Hi, Peter. Hi, Arthel. A few hours ago, several hundred people made the march from the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial to the steps of the U.S. Capitol. And the whole point of the so-called Sea of Blue was to signal to officers across America that not everybody who takes the time to demonstrate is mad at the police. It's very frustrating. Very frustrating. Um, yes, people make mistakes, but that shouldn't be a generalization for all. Um, so, it, I mean, that's, that's the only word I can think of, just frustrating. There were references to anti-police protests inspired by events in Ferguson and Staten Island, but organizers say the Sea of Blue is not a direct response to those much larger demonstrations. There is, though, one contrast that today's demonstrators wanted to highlight, that their event did not result in any violence and it didn't result in any property damage, which is a lot different than the other headline-making protests that we've been seeing lately. Every day they go out there and they risk their lives for everyone's safety. But people seem to forget that. We're tired of hearing the negativity. How about publicizing when our officers do good more? When does that happen? And there have been similar marches through Cleveland and Las Vegas, and we may soon see, see even more, uh, even once the tension between police officers and protesters is an afterthought, because as the sea of blue was wrapping up today, one of the organizers told the crowd he would see them next year. Arthel. Okay. Peter Ducey. Thanks, Peter.